Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Acro and uh, Rated Mode has just been dropped on Valorant, the beta, closed beta. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to say about it, so I want to uh, talk about it and uh, give you the information you're probably looking for. Um, I guess my channel's always been informative, so yeah, uh, information time. Also, if you're looking at the gameplay, um, it's doo-doo. It's my second game ever playing Valorant. Um, <laughs> I don't think I get a kill anywhere in this gameplay, but it's just there for a uh, filler. Uh, I'll be showing stuff on the screen anyways. Uh, I ended up going 15-11 if you uh, don't believe it. <laughs> but anyways, uh, into the actual information and stuff. So the first thing people are probably uh, wondering about is the ranks. So the ranks go from Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Immortal, and then the highest is Valorant. Um, now with that being said, all ranks except Valorant have three tiers. And how it works is the, like, say your Iron 1, that's the lowest. And then Iron 3 would be the, um, like, it goes, like, 1 is the lowest of each tier. Um, and then 3 is the highest. So you'll go, like, Iron 1, 2, 3, then Bronze 1, 2, 3, Silver 1, 2, 3, or so on and so forth. So, um, just for people, I don't know, uh, where any, any of you guys are coming from, but that's different from the League system, where in League, it's, um bronze four would be worse than bronze one um i don't know about the cs system but anyways uh that's the ranks um more information about the ranks and stuff um the big thing that um a lot of people are probably wondering about is decay um in order f you don't decay at all actually um as it says right here in an article that was posted almost a week ago um by valorant themselves um all right it says rank isn't displayed if competitive matches aren't played within 14 days, but rank does not decay behind the scenes. So that means uh, your rank won't decay. However, it won't show. So in order for it to show again, you'd have to play ranked again. Um, at least that's what I'm getting from that. It doesn't specifically say that, but that'd be my assumption. Um, also, one thing that <laughs> people are probably, probably, probably wondering is does rank carried over? And no, it does not. My assumption is it's going to be a hard reset. So um, rank, MMR, and all that won't carry over. So you don't have to worry about if you're Iron 1, um, <laughs> that carrying over at all. That's good. And also, uh, how do you unlock the ranked? You unlock the ranked by playing 20 matches of uh, unranked or unrated mode. And then you can unlock the competitive mode. More is the where was it i just looked over it um you can queue up to um you can queue with people that are uh within two ranks of you that means two ranks not two tiers like inside a rank so say you are silver you can queue with someone that is either platinum or you can queue with someone that's iron um however say you wanted to queue like you are silver and you have a friend that's iron and a friend that's platinum you couldn't play with them together because they're too far apart um, with that being said, you can also queue up to five player parties. So that's really nice. You can, uh, five stack the ranked. I feel like there's gonna, um, that's gonna be abused. I know in Overwatch, it was abused for a long time. Uh, just a bunch of six stacks that would play at night, uh, and destroy and get high elo and stuff like that. Anyways, uh, there's one more thing I want to touch on and that's how many games you have to play to get ranked and what impacts how much you climb. Um, firstly, the games you might, or the games you have to play, as I said, I think I said before, you have to play 20 unrated games just to unlock competitive. Then after that, in order to get your rank, you have to play five games of ranked or rated mode. Ah, oh, it feels so, it feels so weird to say rated it. I feel like they just didn't want to say competitive or ranked because they wanted to be unique or something. So they said rated. Um, I feel like they should have just stuck with comp or, uh, ranked. But anyways, you have to play five games to get ranked. And what impacts that is a few things. If you're in game and go to career, what you'll see is a question mark. When you click on that question mark, you'll get this little pop up. There's more to it. I just cut out all the stuff. It'll also show you the ranks. Uh, anyways, so basically this pop up says um, what things determine your rank, um, especially in the beginning, like uh, your first few, like five placement games and then a few games after and so on and so forth. Um, and essentially the things that affect you the most is winning and losing rounds, but also in the beginning, uh, what's really important is the, uh, 
how you perform personally. So that's like the game says uh, through ability use or good tactics. Um, I don't know how they're measuring that. Uh, I really don't know how they're measuring that, but I do know how they can measure kills, assists, and deaths. Um, that I comprehend, uh, and that has an impact early on. Um, but as you play the game, what's going to determine uh, how much you climb and fall is um, rounds you win uh, compared to loss. Uh, as it says, say you just absolutely steamroll a team 13 to 0, you're going to have a lot more impact on your rake and like a positive impact. And say you go 0 to 13, um, that's going to have a very big negative effect. But say you go 13 and 12, as the game says, you're not going to have a good positive, you're going to have a positive impact, but it won't be as great as say you went 13 to 0. Also, I forget what I was going to say. Um, anyways, I, you probably get the gist of this and stuff, and I don't want to keep babbling on and stuff. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, always leave them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Um, my videos don't get that many views, so, you know, uh, if I don't answer it, it's because I ignored you <laughs> because I see all the comments. There's not that, that many. Uh, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. You got the information you wanted. As always, uh, have a good day or night.